Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I will show you how to leverage LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator data inside of Spot. Of course, using Hublid, you will be able to see how many contacts we created with Hublid uh, from LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator, number of LinkedIn contacts you engage on a weekly basis, monthly basis, or yearly basis if you want. How many invitations did you send this week compared to last week? You can do that also month on month, year on year if you want, last 90 days. And of course, you can see a list of people who you sent an invitation but didn't accept right now, or people you sent a message but didn't reply. And you can do plenty of things like that. So I will show you how you can configure this report easily. And of course, the data we get is from LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And Hublit works with any LinkedIn Sales Navigator plan. So let's do it. Just a quick explanation. Within the professional and the business plan, you can import as many contacts as you want. And of course, as many conversations as you want. The differences between professional and business is that in the business plan, you don't have to click on sync message button. Whenever you open the conversation, it will automatically update the conversation inside your HubSpot contact. And within the business plan, you can import LinkedIn invitations that you cannot do with the professional plan. So now I'm going to show you how we import data inside HubSpot with Hublid. So for the activities, conversation and invitation, we have two ways to import data. One way is through timeline events. You have four timeline events, LinkedIn invitation sent, LinkedIn invitation accepted, LinkedIn message sent, and LinkedIn message received. We also sync on the contact properties and we have four properties matching with the timeline event. Last LinkedIn invitation sent date, last LinkedIn invitation accepted date, last LinkedIn message sent date, and last LinkedIn message received date. I made it. Okay, so both are really interesting timeline event and properties, but properties are easier if you want to get reports, lists, the implementation of Hublid will be much easier if you go for that. So that's why I will use these to create my workflows, reports that I will show you inside this video. So we will start with the contact created report. So how many contacts did you import it from LinkedIn to HubSpot or LinkedIn Sales Navigator to HubSpot? So for this one, you can go to add a report, create a report. And here you can select either single object or custom report bit there. I will select single object because it's way easier. I select contacts here, click on next. Now I have the report of contacts. I will select all data here so I can select all contacts inside my HubSpot. Go to advanced filters and search for original traffic source, drill down to because this one is updated by Hublid whenever you create a contact. You apply this number, so 1451878. This is the integration code of Hublid to find contacts that have been created by Hublid. You click here. So now we have the advanced filter. I can add also the contact owner here and go to next. Now in visualization, you click on this column chart bar. You add create date. You add the count of contacts. I will select a frequency on monthly. And then if I want, I can add the contact owner. So you will have one column per contact owner, but I prefer to display it as stacked standard. So here I can see, for example, how many contacts have been imported by Bastian Paul, me, Blandine Augustin, or Marc Petit. If you prefer to have, for example, only contacts created like 90 days ago, you can go to all time here and, and you go down, go to rolling data range and you select last 90 days excluded today and you can hit save over there and you have your report bill to see how many contacts did you created from LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator inside HubSpot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not hesitate to like this video and subscribe to our channel. In this channel, I share everything I know about HubSpot outbound so you will get a notification whenever I create a new video on how to ease your HubSpot outbound. See you. So now how to create this report, number of LinkedIn conversation per week. So how many contacts did you reach on LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator? With the same, go to add report, create report. And this time I will create a custom report builder so you can see the differences. I click on custom report builder, choose my own data sources. And here my primary data source is contacts, but I need to use activities so I can either have activities as my primary data source or going here and click on activities. 
I prefer to have context as primary data source because you can add more context in your reports. But before that, you have to understand how Hublid is importing conversation inside of Spot. So basically to create this report, you have to understand how Hublid is importing conversation inside your Spot. We have two ways. One way we saw at the beginning of the video are the timeline events we log into HubSpot. But with this one, it's really hard to create reports. So that's why we create also as a LinkedIn activity. These are the activity of HubSpot, but the type is a LinkedIn message. Be careful to activate LinkedIn in communication in your filter activity to make sure that you can display this LinkedIn conversation inside HubSpot. Also, when we log conversation as a LinkedIn activity type, we log one activity per day of conversation. So for example, with my co-founder, we had a conversation on the 29 and we had a conversation on the 28. So if I send a new message today, we will have another conversation logged because now I'm in February, a different day than the one uh, in January 29. And now I can also select companies and deals because as I said, you can add more context to your report or do some different or do different reporting. I will show you later, but I will select companies, but, you, but this is not mandatory to do the report I wanted to show you in the beginning. I click on next. And here, first of all, I need to select my filters. Go to filter, search for activity type. You drag and drop here. You select only activity type of LinkedIn message. By the way, if you want, you can display any activities. So calls activities, emails activities, and LinkedIn message activities. So you can have an overview of your LinkedIn prospection for all your sales reps. I will also add activity date because I do want to only check for the last 90 days. So now you have your filters, go to configure and you will drag and drop again activity date here in the X axis. You will select count of activity here and then here you have the number of activities. So the number of conversation you had on a monthly basis. If you want to have it on a weekly basis, quarterly, yearly, you can modify here. If you want to split by owner of activity, you have to get the activity assigned to and put it here. And now you know Bastian Paul has this amount of conversation in November 2024. Let's say now you want to have the count of contact, people you engage on LinkedIn, or the count of companies, how many companies did you engage on LinkedIn? So you can go there. Click on count of companies, replace the count of activities. So here I know how many companies I engage on LinkedIn in November 2024. And I can do the same with the count of contacts. And of course, if you want to filter by your ICP, to filter by industry, whatever you want, since you have access to the company object, you can filter by industry, by uh, country. You can do plenty of things. Now, if you want to create this report, like last LinkedIn invitation sent, pending and accepted, you go to add report, create a report. We will use only contacts this time. Click on next. So I will have to use, for example, for the Goji report, you add count of contacts and you're searching for last LinkedIn invitation sent and you set it here, compare by. You select this week to last week. And now you see you have 71 LinkedIn invitation sent this week compared to last week, 45. So now we did the Goji report and now we can do this chart. So same thing, you use a custom report builder. You do count of content in the Y axis. You search for the last LinkedIn invitation sent. Apply a filter on this property also so you have only a specific uh, amount of contact. Click on apply. And there you have it. So if you want to have a list of people you sent an invitation but they didn't accept, just go and filter, drag and drop the last LinkedIn invitation accepted and set it as is unknown. You can do the same with LinkedIn message sent and of course LinkedIn message with. And if you want to have a list, you just press table and you will have a list at the end. So you can also trigger workflow based on our data. So you create a new workflow contact based. And here you can select when a filter criteria is met, search for contact properties. And now you have last LinkedIn invitation sent, accepted, received and sent. So I can say like, for example, whenever I do have a new LinkedIn connection is known, you save it and you can trigger a Slack notification, create a task if you want. You can update a property on your contact. So for example, you can create a property named LinkedIn status or LinkedIn connection status and say, okay, we are connected. And then you can re-exploit this data on different workflows, different reports. You can also create a list of people you sent an invitation, who accepted your invitation, 
or people who did not accept your invitation, it's very simple. You do the same. You have to get the last LinkedIn invitation sent is known and the last LinkedIn invitation accepted is unknown. You can do plenty of lists. You can split by contact owner, split by job title. If you have any question, you can comment on this video so I can explain you how to do something. So I hope this video helped you to better understand how to use Hublid and how to leverage your LinkedIn data inside of Spot. If you really like this video, you can like this video and of course, subscribe to this channel where I create a lot of content around HubSpot outbound and then you will get the notification for any new videos I'm making. If you have any question, go to hubly.io in the chat. It's me. You can ask me any question and I will help you to implement Hubly. See you to the next video.